Since the skeleton was so nicely cleaned by the Dermistead beetles, Dr. Carrington's bones will soon be hanging on display in the Lion Decker Museum. Yvette Delacroix died plastered. Her remarkably lifelike statue now lives on in the old master's gallery of the Lion Decker Museum. Her memory lives on in all the minds in the minds of all she touched. Her sculpture is attributed to artist unknown. Dr. Pippin Carter, wherever he is, is quite displeased. You did not recover the dagger of Amon Ra, nor did you find his murder. Therefore, we did Pippin recover it. <laughs> Therefore, but we don't know who stole it. But well, we recovered it. It says you did not recover it. Well. He's going to haunt you anyway for the rest of your life. <laughs> Man. Indirectly, as a result of your total failure, Wolf Heimlich was fired from his job of Chief of Security at the Lion Decker Museum. One year later, still out of work, he committed suicide in military fashion by falling on his sword. We ruined everyone's life. Having died in the course of the story, Watney Little's life of crime came to an abrupt end. As he was not a nice man, nobody missed him. After Wolf Heimlich was fired from his job of Chief of Security, Dr. Olympia Miklos moved to Montana to do full-time field research in paleontology. Digging in the rich fossil bed she found there, her greatest find was the carnivorous Olympiosaurus dinosaur. As fond as he was of the lion decker, Ernie Leach noted in his will that he wanted his body donated to the museum. His body now resides in numerous small jars of alcohol, which will be placed on display in the new Hall of Internal Biology, adjacent to the late or the Hall of Late Mammals. Since the dagger of Amon Ra was not recovered, Dr. Patasha Tut, Tut Smith was forced to commit suicide with a fake dagger of Amon Ra from the Lion Decker Museum gift shop. After losing his head in the museum, Ziggy found himself unable to continue his criminal career. His head has been preserved and is now on display in the life mask. That would never happen! That is the most ridiculous thing. That would never happen. Ramses Najir continued his successful career as an accountant and as head of the secret Egyptian cult of Amon Ra. With his strong high society ties, his accounting business made Ramses a millionaire in 15 years. Having died from a snake bite, the Countess Lavinia Waldorf Carlton did not live long enough to inherit any money from her last husband, Sterling. Extremely unimpressed by your total failure as a reporter, Sam Augustini fired you. Later that same year, he was mugged with a gift shop duplicate of the Dagger of Amon Ra and died from his wounds. He blames you for his death. Man, whoever made these gift shop daggers has like killed so many people. In right? Since you were fired after your total failure at the museum, Crodfather T. Rhubarb continued the investigation, found the dagger of Amon Ra and the murder, and won <laughs> a Pulitzer Prize for his excellent work. Ah, I'm the true star of this story. <laughs> Henry Lamort, the coroner, continued his successful career studying dead bodies for the next 50 years, finally retiring in 1976 to tour with a rock band, The Ungrateful Dead. Low-fat continued in the laundry business, eventually opening a chain of low-fat Chinese laundries across the country and becoming a millionaire in the process. Detective Ryan Hanrahan O'Reilly continued in his job and became a full-time homicide detective. Having amassed a small fortune, quote, by being frugal, he retired to Ireland three years later. Steve Dorian was quite upset by the unfortunate event that happened to you later that night. He also never forgave you for accusing him of every, <laughs> every murder and every theft in the game. Stunned by your total failure, an unfortunate event that occurred to you later that evening, John Bow spent his remaining years in New Orleans, oh, in a New Orleans mental institution. Jeez. After you gave it away, the dagger of Amon Ra vanished. Twenty years later, in 1946, it mysteriously appeared on the doorstep of a Cairo museum in Egypt. There was human blood on the blade, as if it were to send some sort of message. Uh-oh. That's this guy again. It's the murderer. You had your chance and blew it, Laura Bow. This is what happens to interfering reporters. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, that's brutal. Yep. I mean, think about it. If you don't catch a murderer and you're still alive, you're the only one, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Do, 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 do. All right, how about I take over and uh, yeah. give, the, give the correct answer since. Uh... Maybe it wasn't Steve Dorian. I'm still not sure. You really. But... Wow, you are. You were very hard to convince. <laughs> 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 All right. Who murdered Dr. Pippin Carter? The actual answer is Detective Hanrahan O'Reilly. 
and he did it to cover up another crime. Mm. And uh, that was Ziggy, and it, again, was Detective uh, O'Reilly. And again, he did it to cover uh, another crime. He did it to cover up Pippin. Who moided, moided Ernie Leach, and that was O'Reilly. Again, to cover up another crime. Actually, I think he... Yeah, to cover another crime, pretty sure. Who moided Yvette Delacroix? Believe it or not, it was Steve Dorian. No, it was Detective O'Reilly. <laughs> 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 Had me excited there for a second. And his motive for that, and this it's important to get this, is jealousy. He was jealous that uh, Yvette was with so many other guys. So that motive, and it has to be correct. You cannot do another crime. It has to be jealousy. And uh, again, cover another crime. Who was the skeleton found in the steamer trunk? Well, with the watch we saw, we figured out it was Dr. Archibald Carrington. Who murdered Dr. Archibald Carrington? Now... I'm afraid I'm gonna get this wrong. It's either Detective O'Reilly or it is, um, where is it? Watney Little. I'm gonna say it was Watney Little because he was already dead, if you recall, in the steamer trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how could it have been uh, Detective O'Reilly? I'm gonna say it was Watney Little. Who impersonated Dr. Archibald Carrington? That was also Watney Little under, uh, under the direction, of course. And then who moited Watney Little, and that would be Detective Hanrahan O'Reilly to cover another crime. I think you can also choose a financial gain as well. Who actually stole the dagger of Amon-Ra from the Ancient Egypt exhibit? And I believe that was Watney Little. I believe um, what happened was Detective O'Reilly hired Watney Little to kill Archibald Carrington and to steal the dagger for him. <laughs> Who manipulated Watney Little into stealing the dagger? That was O'Reilly. Who was the woman involved in stealing paintings from the old master's gallery? Steve we, Dorian. Steve Dorian. We, uh, we talked to her uh, when we just happened to be hiding behind a tapestry. It's the Countess. Based on what we now know, your assumption is correct, Miss Bo. Good work. Who was the man involved in stealing the paintings? And the man involved... There were two men involved. There were Watney Little and Ziggy. And I'm going to do mm -hmm. Ziggy. Oh shit, I did the- I think I did the wrong thing. Shit. It must have been Watney. Oops. There were two men! What do they want me to do? Okay, whatever. We'll just get that one wrong. But I knew. I knew who it was. You're just gonna have to take my word for it, folks. Uh, the high priest was Ramses. You're correct, Miss Bo. You're very observant. Which museum employee runs a fencing operation? Through, uh, nosiness, we learned it was Ernie Leach. That assumption is correct. Mr. Leach was moonlighting with his own business as a fence installer. In fact, he put up a very nice fence around my house. Wow. I have one final piece of evidence to present, Mr. Connor. I have an eyewitness who would only feel safe to come forth if I had established my case against Mr. O'Reilly. Now that I've done so, let me introduce Dr. Patasha Tut Smith of the Cairo Museum. <laughs> he just floats in. Mr. Smith's testimony is safe with us. Many thanks. I was in the Egyptian ceremonial room underneath the museum when Detective O'Reilly killed two of my fellow sun worshippers. I saw with my own eyes how he gunned them down without mercy when they tried to stop him from chasing Miss Bo. However, we only managed to slow him down. His hood fell back briefly, revealing his evil face to us as he slaughtered our people. That son of a camel should not be allowed to run free upon the sands! Will you testify in court what you witnessed, Mr. Smith? Yep! Happily, sir. My dead fellows expect their revenge, although Amun-Ra will certainly destroy O'Reilly's Ka. Yeah, Ka. When he journeys through the underworld. I'm not qualified to give my opinion on Mr. O'Reilly's spirit in the next world, Mr. Smith, but I'm sure your testimony will help your dead friends sleep peacefully. Thank you for coming forth. I must admit, I'm impressed by your methods, Miss Bo. Not only have you identified the murders of these unfortunate individuals, but you've also un uncovered the skullduggery involving the Dagger of Amon-Ra. Our case is very strong now, and prosecution can begin. The New York Police Department owes you a debt of gratitude for your assistance in apprehending these malefactors. I'm sure with that a commendation of valor from the Police Department is in order. Thank you for your help. Everyone's cheering! Yay! We Yay. did it! 
Oh man, except for that one thing I got wrong on accident. Laura Bow solves dagger theft and finds the murderer. It's all that lousy reporter's fault. <laughs> Damned interfering Laura Bow. I'll get my revenge. Holy fuck, look at all those pigeons. Or seagulls, I guess. Seagulls, yeah. Thinks she can away with squealing on me, does she? Back on the chain gang. <laughs> well, she's got another think think coming. I think that's supposed to be thing. Could be. She has more thoughts on the way. Do you hear me, Larabo? You'll pay for this. Yeah, okay. If it's the last thing I ever do. I Mario pooped in my eye. Oh no. <laughs> I have so much poop. So I, I that's the perfect setup for a, a sequel, but there was no more Laura Bows after this. Ooh, ooh ah. Mm, thank you for waiting, Laura. No problem, Steve. I didn't mind, Steve. Um, Laura. Yes. My name isn't Steve. Oh, Wh would you what? mind? I mean, do you suppose, Laura? Could you uh, close your eyes? I have something for you. Oh, I suppose so. Dagger! Oh, Steve! Do you like it? Oh, Steve, how could you? How could you have stolen the dagger? I was right all along! It was me! Ha ha ha! You're a uh, stab stab! <laughs> okay. I bought this copy for you at the museum gift shop. Aww. I thought you might like a memento of your big night at the Lion Decker Museum. Oh, thank you, Steve. I'm so embarrassed. You should. Oh, you're beautiful when you blush, Laura. Yes, Steve. Would you consider joining me for dinner this coming it's Saturday? the most innocent, naive thing it I've is. ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I... I don't know if I should really... Yes, yes, I'd be delighted to join you for dinner. Thank you, Laura. You've made me very happy. Oh, Steve. Oh, Laura. Oh, Steve. I'm so happy. <laughs> It's the happiest ending ever. Oh, yeah, it's pretty happy. <laughs> he got away with it. He you got know? away with it. That's why we so, need a sequel. I, I no, I mean yeah, because Steve just killed everyone. So his is the same. He was still uh, hanging on display. Still a skeleton, yeah. Um, she is still in the Old Masters Gallery, but now her sculpture is attributed to Ryan O'Reilly, 1926. <laughs> Pleased by your success at finding his dagger of Amon Ra and his murderer, Dr. Pippin Carter now rests in peace. Pippin Carter's body was transported to Egypt by his cousin and now occupies a place in archaeological honor in the Temple of Amon Ra in the Valley of the Kings. Hmm. Due to your success at recovering the dagger of Amon Ra and finding the murderer, Wolf Heimlich continued as chief of security at the Lion Decker Museum. Two months later, he was married to Dr. Olympia Miklos. Two years after they were married, Wolf and Olympia had a child they named Morgana Wolf Heimlich. And Wat Watney Little is still dead. He's just not a nice guy and nobody gives a shit. Yep. Due to your success at recovering the dagger of Amon Ra and finding the murder, Dr. Olympia was married Wolf Heimlich. And they had a kid, once again. Uh, Ernie was just, uh, again, donated his body to science. Dr. Patasha Tut Smith finally gave up on getting the dagger of Amun Ra returned to Egypt. However, once it completed its US and European museum tours, it was returned to the Cairo Museum anyway. So several years later, Tut died a happy man, even though his death was the result of an Egyptian cobra bite. Man, one of those okay. cobras uh, in that basement got out. Seriously. After losing his head, uh, yeah, it's preserved. And he's, his was preserved, he was just a millionaire anyway. And she didn't get anything because she's a jerk. Thoroughly impressed by your success as a reporter, your editor Sam Augustini nominated you for a Pulitzer Prize and was present when you received your citation of valor from the police department. Sam retired 10 years later to become a gentleman cabbage farmer, fulfilling a secret <laughs> lifelong dream. Is that okay. your dream, Clint? I, if it was, I wouldn't tell you because it'd be a secret. Well, now I know. Now I know what to get you for Christmas, and it's, it's cabbage. <laughs> <sighs> Pleased at your success, Crodfather T. Rhubarb was happy to become your assistant at the New York Daily Registered News Tribune. 
We already read his. Low fat, still a huge millionaire. And former Detective Ryan Hanrahan O'Reilly was sentenced to 60 years in a state penitentiary. Having been a cop, O'Reilly found it hard to make friends in prison. <laughs> After a successful completion of the museum assignment, you started dating Steve Dorian. You, you never found out that he was a serial killer. Yep. Thrilled with your success, John Bo spent the rest of his life telling people what a wonderful daughter you were and how he had taught you everything you knew about criminology. After your recovery of the Dagger of Amun-Ra, it went back on display at the Lion Dagger Museum. The large amount of press coverage drew many patrons to the museum to see the dagger. After two years on display at the Lion Dagger, the dagger exhibited exhibit continued on a tour of the museums in the United States, Europe, and finally found its way back to the Cairo Museum in Egypt. Ta-da! Ah, oh, she still dies. At the end. Yeah, they show all the death scenes and the credits here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh That's man! That's the biggest gun. That is a big. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> that is a big gun. What do you think? I like it as I did last time I played it. <laughs> it's yes. Good stuff. We're playing the archaeologist song in the background. Very flappery. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is one of my favorite games of all time. I love this game. I love how difficult it is, and uh, the more you play it, the more you do want to go back and and find everything. And uh, as you can see, it's very difficult <laughs> as I uh, ran into that boot problem. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Lorelai Shannon there, she worked on King's Quest Seven. Apparently, and, the uh, rest of the writing was Josh Mandel. Yes, yes, Josh Mandel. He is an amazing writer, and I think that's why I like, uh, I like reading all the narration to this yeah. game is because it was written by Josh Mandel. He's a very brilliant comedy writer, very good humorist. Mm-hmm. The end. Oh, it's no longer Pittsburgh. It's yep. Yeah, it's no longer. Well, this Man is the original Pierce. dagger. It's manufactured in the end. They ruined the integrity of the original dagger by inscribing the <laughs> end. Jesus. Just for this. Oh, that was so fun! I love this game. Even though I got frustrated, I love this game. Thank <laughs> you so much for playing with me. I love this game. Have I told you, you that? I think you have. I think I've told you that outside of recording. Like every time we talk. Every time we talk, really? Yeah. Oh man, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> At least Start up a conversation. That... Hey Clint, you know what I really like? The Dagger of Amon Ra. <laughs> every time. Yeah, yeah it's, it's known to occur. Well, I would like to thank you for voicing this with me and for being on my channel. I really appreciate it. I had a fun time. I really hope you enjoyed yourself. Oh uh, yeah. Your voices were lovely to listen to, especially Wolf Heimlich's. I wish he had I, w I wish Wolf Donkey. Yeah. <laughs> Danke Fräulein. Achtung. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish he had a, a more prominent role cuz he's so funny. I wish the Scottish sergeant had a more prominent role. I know, he was hardly in there. <laughs> but, yep, that is that is the game. If you would like to see more things by Lazy Game Reviews and I, we do uh, adventure game Let's Plays pretty frequently. Um, I'll, I'll, link some, I'll link something there. I'll link something on the screen that you can watch if you'd like. And, and we do Mary-Kate and Ashley videos on my channel for <laughs> summer. We do adventure games on my channel. We do Mary Kate and Ashley games on his <laughs> channel. Why don't you subject any of your other guests to Mary Kate and Ashley games? Like I you had ADG on your that. channel and it wasn't Mary Kate and Ashley. It was like I a know. good game or something. Yeah, yeah, we ended up doing Bro Force. So. Yeah. So anyway. You guys can check that out if you want. And as a, a token of my appreciation for doing this with me, I will go back to your channel and finish off the Mary Kate and Ashley games. Oh, good. Since I know people ask for them for some reason. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of those more to do. All right. Well, thank you again. Thank you guys for watching. Leave any comments, suggestions, anything you want in the uh, comment section. And I will see you guys in the next playthrough, whatever that may be. And thank you, Lazy Game Reviews. You're welcome. So long. Bye.